Hello guys and welcome to Master Coding channel. In this tutorial we are going to learn about view model and live data inside Android architecture components. So what are view models and live data and how they work? We will complete the Android developer course and the Android Jetpack course and we'll start by uh, making an app that works with view model and live data. If this is your first time here and you want to learn Android and any other uh, lang coding languages, if this is the right place, we are making tons of uh, tutorials and uh, courses free. So subscribe below to get the latest tutorials and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's begin. Now let's move to NRA Studio and create an empty activity. And uh, empty empty uh, activity uh, project and name it as a view model application. So in this video, as a recap or an overview, we are going to create an app that stores uh, the data inside a view model. So uh, whenever the user rotate the screen, the data will be received uh, from the view model class. First of all, in order to, to use the view model, as I told you, in every Android architecture component, we are going to, uh, to import and add the, the, the required dependency for this uh, component. So the, the view model uh, dependency will require the implementation of the life cycle uh, library. Now, implementation, Android X dot life cycle and life cycle. And we want to add the latest version of the life cycle. I will create a, a, a definition, a definitive uh, variable that will represent the life cycle uh, version of our application. So I will use the dollar sign in front of lifecycle underscore version, which uh, which represent a variable that uh, that uh, will get it from uh, that diff lifecycle underscore version, and I will use 2.2.0. So, uh, I like variables in PHP. If you know PHP, we use the dollar sign to represent that it is a variable. Now. Uh, let's move to uh, implement another uh, package and another library used in the uh, view model. I will and I will uh, comment it uh, to uh, make sure that you have the full concentration, the full understand of the, uh, the this lesson. So the, the saved state model. Okay, for view model. And we will use the implementation. Implementation. I missed the T. So uh, Android X dot lifecycle. Lifecycle version also uh, is used. Uh, I advise you to use this uh, this uh, uh, typing def and you specify the version so uh, whenever you need to update your versions uh, your Android project uh, versions so you don't need to uh, get for every package and update the version you just uh, uh, like link them to one variable that you will modify so this is the uh, a good point of using the diff uh, and the diff uh, variable inside the gradle file so i uh, like correcting this this implementation i've missed t okay annotate the processor i'm going to annotate the processor Annotating the processor using the annotation processor method or the or uh, like syntax. 
Android X and the life cycle Mutation processor. So if you want to, to know the latest version of the uh, every component or every library inside Android, just Google it. You just type on the, inside the Google latest uh, library of uh, or latest dependency, uh, Gradle dependency of uh, life cycle like a room like a glide or other uh, third party uh, libraries inside android studio now adding the la latest uh, package which is the implementation of android life cycle view module and life cycle and we are going to use the view model here the same version of the live or the view model and we use the lifecycle extensions and 2.2.0 uh, which is the lifecycle version okay i'm having some errors i've uh, missed the lifecycle and uh, i've uh, missed the the double quotations of inside the variables because just uh, to check that everything is good okay so i have missed here the double quotation inside the dev okay in order to correct it okay and I'm missing uh, some other uh, states, statements like life cycle, okay, life Android X and dot life cycle. Also, also, also the same in the latest uh, or the last line. I will use the life cycle, life cycle extension. Okay, so guys, uh, everything. Uh, we should uh, work fine till now uh, at the level of uh, or the time of making this video the latest version is 2.2 okay okay let's move now to the package our java package and i'm going to create now the view model class i will name it as score view model okay this view model as i told you it will stores the data it will stores the configurations of the activity and restore them when uh, th some, some, something happens to the activity like rotating the the the, the uh, from landscape or uh, to portrait or vice versa or uh, like posing the activity so you need the the instance all the data of uh, and the configuration of this activity to be restored whenever uh, th uh, something uh, happens to the activity now i i will create two variables like public and score a it would be 10 and i will create another uh, score called score b equal to zero just for testing and just for clarifying the concept i have created two methods and uh, sorry i'm going to create uh, one method uh, and uh, telling the user uh, telling the android studio hey i am using an android view model so i need to extend android view model in this way i'm telling the android studio and android application uh, uh, that I'm using uh, this class for a view model so it will implement this constructor automatically now I have defined the view model remember view model is for receiving the uh, data configuration the data for the activity stored inside the activity uh, whenever something happens to the activity like uh, rotating the screen or uh, changing the layout changing the view or uh, exiting the app 
So this, the, this configuration, the, those data will be stored inside the live data model or live uh, view model uh, class. I have implemented the view and the life cycle view model provider. And let's now move to make an instance of the view model class. I have created this, creating the, an instance of the view model class. And I will use score view model, model equal new score or a view model provider. In this way, we are going to create an instance of the view model inside in Android. So I'm passing this as an owner and I'm, uh, I am uh, calling the get method to get the score view model dot class. In this way, I'm telling, hey, Android, I am using the score view model as my view model class, and I am going to display the points using the, the display points method. I will pass the view model class and I will get the exact and the required and the needed variable only. So, guys, it's very simple. Till now, Android with with two lines or three lines, you can configure this uh, this uh, uh, data storage or data uh, saving states and uh, activity saving state. It's very very simple. I am making a method just and passing uh, passing the view model as its a parameter. And I am getting the model uh, score A from this model as my point. Very good, guys. It's very, it's working fine. Let's rotate the screen. And hooray, guys. Points of A is equal to ten. Nothing is changed to our uh, our data. Ten remains ten. So points of A remains ten. Whenever you're taking the screen, it will never be null. So, if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, use the view model, it will remain. It will becomes zero because you are not conserving the state of your data. Now let's move to and clar clarify this example uh, for uh, for uh, for you in another way making an text so i i will create a text i will create another text in order to display the points of a so in front of uh, of us there will be uh, there will uh, be displayed the points of a so guys i hope if you have any questions any suggestions, any tutorials you want us to make, anything you want to say, or even you want us uh, uh, just to say, to say thanks, just comment below. I love the comments from honest people like you. Please guys, if you have any questions, any tutorials, anything you need us to make, please comment it below. If you don't understand anything, we can help you. We are, uh, we, we love uh, helping people to learn. So, and this way I am going to define the text view and creating an instant, uh, the, defining the widget of text view, removing this toast message. And we will display the points of A in the, in the text view that we have created previously if you want these lessons written uh, in front of you and uh, in the in a written uh, book or written app you can download master android and master android pro apps from the play store so you get them uh, freely and you can support us with 99 cents okay i'm just moving this 
and in this way we are getting the text view uh, we are setting the text in this way by because it is string we are using a uh, simple and uh, double quotations okay very good and the port may, uh, mode it will fine work fine and exactly in the same in the landscape mode it's working fine so data is conserved and this application view model will conserve your data and your state activity state thank you guys i hope you subscribe below and comment if you have any questions any tutorial you want us to make or just saying thanks i hope you subscribe you join us you join our family thank you guys thank you for your honest